And Julie, you're good to get started. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and call to order the November 23rd, 2021, 301 p.m. Canvassing Board Certification Meeting for the November 2nd, 2021 general election. I am Canvassing Board Member Julie Wise, your King County Director of Elections. With me on today's call via Zoom is our Canvassing Board Member Kevin Wright, Chief Civil Deputy Prosecuting Attorney, and Janine Y, Acting Chief of Staff and Director of Operations to the King County Council. We are staffed today by Gerilyn Hampton, King County Elections Ballot Processing Manager. This meeting is being live streamed via the King County Elections Facebook page and is being recorded and will be uploaded to our YouTube channel after this meeting. Gerilyn Hampton, please provide us with an update and overview of this general election. Thank you, Julie. Um, before we jump into a summary of our election activities, I've got two items for uh, disposition from the board. The first item is E-4000. It's 8,136 mail ballot challenges that we were unable to count due to reasons such as being returned too late, missing signatures, or signatures that do not match. I move that we reject those ballots. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, second item is PV-8000. It's 12 provisional ballots that we were unable to count due to uh, being not registered or canceled voters. I move that we reject those ballots as well. Second. Aye. 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 All right, uh, let's talk a little bit about the election we just completed. Uh, we were projecting turnout to be around 46% when we were going into the general election. We didn't quite make it there, though we weren't too far off. We ended up at 44% as our final turnout rate, uh, which translates into about 616,000 ballots being returned. Uh, we had good activity at our vote center locations. We had Six vote centers throughout the county where folks could register, um, could uh, get a replacement ballot, uh, could uh, get their questions answered and so on. But we also had two additional student engagement hubs. So one hub we had at UW Bothell um, was there and was uh, only offering replacement ballots to voters. And then we had one at UW Seattle where we had voter registration services as well as replacement ballots being offered to our voters. Um, at our different voting locations, we registered over 360 new voters, so that's great. And we completed uh, around 400 updates and transfers as well. And we issued almost 1,300 ballots um, for folks who needed to get a replacement ballot, needed to get a first-time ballot, and whatnot. So 1,300 voters got ballots at our vote centers. Uh, some ballot drop box activity we had, we now have 74 boxes, count them, not 73, we're at 74 now. Um, our newest box was actually placed at one of those student hubs at the UW Bothell. Uh, drop box ballots totaled over 350,000 ballots uh, and ended up being 57% of our total returns. And we, see, we received almost 60%, it was actually 59% of all drop box ballots on election day itself. So a lot of ballots on election day. The most utilized box for this election was surprise, Ballard Branch Library, who always wins top vote getter of the drop boxes. Um, Ballard received almost 16,000 ballots in returns, but King County Elections Headquarters was a strong second, like neck and neck. Um, we at King County Headquarters were only 100 ballots short of tying Ballard for top ballot receiver. Moving on to challenges, we ended this election with just over 8,100 mail ballot challenges. Of those over half, it was actually 52% were returned for being too late. Um, that's actually lower than the 57% that were returned too late um, of our challenges back in the primary. We have only 3,800 signature challenges remaining, which is 0.6% of our total returns. 
Uh, and over half, it was 53% of voters who initially had a signature challenge of some type did respond uh, to their signature challenge. So around half. Um, we just talked about provisionals. So we did receive total 11 provisional ballots. Uh, 11 of them came from our online ballot marking program. And then we actually did get one uh, provisional ballot from a voter uh, from our vote center who had already cast a, a mail-in ballot. And this was a decent size, pretty big election for us. So we hired over 250 temporary staff to help us out all the way from language translation to assisting at those vote centers to um, staffing our call bank and processing all of the ballots. Uh, we have, as we did last election, had quite a bit of observer um, activity, which is amazing. I trained over 50 party observers, like six days in a row of um, observer training, so 50 new faces uh, before we started receiving and processing ballots, and we had over 180 visits throughout this general election. So lots of observers on site throughout the entire process. And I'm super happy to say we have zero discrepancies to report and we're now at our 22nd election in a row with no discrepancies. So super exciting. But we're not done quite yet. We have recounts. So we do have three contests that are in mandatory machine count range, machine recount range. And to uh, find its way in the mandatory machine count range, the contest must be less than 2,000 votes apart and also less than a half of a, one half of 1% of the total number of votes cast for both candidates. So we've got city of Newcastle council position number six, um, Paul Charbonneau and Frank Aragon. There's a 10 vote difference. So that's 0.30% difference. We've got Issaquah school district number 411, director district number four, Sydney Mullings and Wendy Fiora. There's a 114 vote difference there, but it's still 0.44% different difference. And then the third one is public hospital district number one. The difference there is 192 votes. The percent different is 0.38. Uh, so you might ask, well, what does that mean a machine recount? What are you doing in a machine recount? So in a machine recount, uh, we must visually inspect all of the undervotes and we do so using the tabulation images, so the digital images of the ballots we've scanned uh, when possible. So to prepare for our machine recount activities, we run a bunch of reports to figure out what batches we have that may contain a placeholder card where there is an undervote. Uh, we will then go and pull that box and pull the actual original ballot. So we have them all in one location for when we're doing the recount activities. And then we'll, do our work in a team of two uh, at the tabulation system where we will go to that contest and look at every single undervote um, via the system. And then we'll also do a physical inspection of the original ballots um, for any undervotes as well. Uh, after all of the counting is complete, we'll uh, assemble all of our final reports and then we'll bring those results to you, the canvassing board to certify the recount results. Um, one thing I like to bring up when we're talking about recounts, it's important for everybody to know, uh, is that voter intent decisions will not be reconsidered during the recount, um, but that's in our state law. Therefore, all of the manually resolved ballots uh, with image numbers appended will be tallied at an adjudication station using the decision that we already made during the election. Um, the way you might find a change is if there was something that was not adjudicated for our voter intent rules that should have been adjudicated. Um, the recount activities we have them planned for taking place on Tuesday, November 30th. We're gonna start at 10 a.m. until the activities are complete. And we'll again, bring those results forward to you, the canvassing board for certification on December 6th, which is a Monday at 11.30. Any questions on the recount activities before I talk about the next or now current election that we're in? Congratulations on another election with no discrepancies. Yay. Yay. Makes me happy. The team is really good with you know, troubleshooting and figuring out where everything is at. So 
Uh, normally I talk about our next election, but right now I'm going to talk about a current election because we are in an overlapping election situation right now. So we do have a December 7th, 2021, 2021 oh, <clears throat> recall election. Excuse me. That we have already received around 8,500 ballots for, <clears throat> and we're starting bulk processing tomorrow. <clears throat> Our first canvassing board meeting is December 16th at 1.30. Sorry about that. And that's all I have for my update. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gerilyn, and congratulations, and thank you so much to the awesome ballot processing team in all of King County elections, our permanent staff, our temporary staff, our observers, our canvassing board members, our voters. It really takes all of us um, to make democracy happen and thrilled to have another election where we are conducting accurate, secure, open, accessible elections here in King County. So big congratulations to the team. Um, as Gerilyn mentioned, though, normally would be our last election of the year, but we've got one more before we close out this year. And then, of course, those recount elections. So um, canvassing board members, if you have any questions for Gerilyn or myself, I'll pause here and otherwise we'll get to signing the official documents. No questions. No, no questions for me. Are you, are you ready for the oath of authenticity? I am ready, sir. Okay. Julie, I will now read you the oath of authenticity. It reads, King County Director of Elections, Julie Wise, do you solemnly swear that the unofficial returns and supporting documentation of the general election held on November 2nd, 2021 in King County, state of Washington, are true and correct? I do. And we provided those to our canvassing board members in their email box this afternoon. Um, I'm going to head over to our next item, and that is the certification of the canvassing board. And it reads, the undersigned officers designated by law as constituting the canvassing board for the County of King, State of Washington, hereby certify that this is a full, true, and correct copy of the abstract of votes, including the number of registered eligible voters, cumulative results, precinct results, and report of votes cast at the general election held on November 2nd, 2021 in King County, State of Washington. I do. I do. I do. All right, well, we were gonna say farewell to Kevin as serving in our canvassing <laughs> board as he is retiring, a very well-deserved retirement. Um, but you'll be here with us to certify the recount results. So we won't get ahead of ourselves, and, um, but we do appreciate your many, many years of service, um, Mr. Wright, to this board and to the voters, um, to democracy. Um, we really appreciate you and the time that you've um, spent with this organization. Um, and we will wait for a final goodbye, not final, final you know what I mean, um, a, a farewell, enjoy retirement um, uh, until our December 6th meeting, right, Gerilyn, is our next, our next one, December 6th. All right. Very good. Thank you very much. Any further business? Uh, nothing for the board today. Thank you all very much. This meeting is adjourned. Our November 23rd, 2021 canvassing board meeting is adjourned at 3.15 p.m. today. Thanks and congratulations again to the King County Elections team. You're here. Thank Thanks, you. everybody.